job, you guys. You're never supposed to let them in, right? No, I don't like to. Okay. Here is a brand new story. It just came in last night. And when I read it, I said, oh, the kids at Storytime are going to love this book. And it's called, I Am a Tiger. How do you know, tiger? Because they have stripes. Right, there's the stripes right there. And T is for tiger. Okay, are you ready? Ready? Okay. I am a tiger. Do you believe him? No. No, you're not. A tiger is much bigger than you are, and it has a little bit more... Grrr. Tigers can be small too, you know. Grrr. Not that small. And a tiger has stripes. Some do. This one doesn't. So there. I am a tiger. Do you believe him? A tiger can climb a tree. Can you? Yeah. I could climb a tree. I could climb a tree to the moon if I wanted to. Most tigers can't. I am a tiger. Go on then. Climb to the moon. Go ahead. Well, I can't just now. It's time for my lunch. A tiger hunts for its lunch, you know. I am a tiger. No, you're not. You're a, 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 a chew. I'm not a, 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 a chew. I am a tiger. No, no, I am a tiger. He said, which one is a tiger? That one. This or this one? Ha, 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 ha. You're not a tiger. You're a mouse. Look at your tiny, twitchy nose. Look at your little hands and feet. I bet you had cheese for breakfast. I am a tiger, not you. I can do this. Can you? What about this? Oh, Dear, you, sir, are definitely a mouse, and I am a tiger. If I am a mouse, then what are they? Furry, stripy, funny-looking face. This, got you guys, is a caterpillar. Long, red, likes to bounce. Guess what, guys? This is a balloon. Thin, pointy, fingers hanging in trees. Guess what, guys? This is a banana. Tiny, colorful, sits on a stick. This is a lollipop. You guys are bad guessers. Now, I really must be going. My lunch won't catch itself. What a silly old bunch they are. Gah! I'm not a tiger. How could I be so wrong? Look at those teeth, those claws, that tail. It's obvious I'm not a tiger. I'm a crocodile. I was wrong all along. He's a crocodile. He thought he was a tiger, but he's not. And that's the end. And that's the end. What did you think? Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Thumbs up. I liked it. I liked the story about that little mouse. All right. Who's ready for the Grand Old Duke of York? Uh, 
you guys can stand up, I'm going to just sit in the chair. You ready? Can you go halfway up? Can you go up and down? The grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. What are you, up or down? Down. All right, let's sit down. Who's ready to hear a scary story? Okay, this is called A Dark, Dark Tale. I think I'm going to scare you. But it's only a story, right? All right, you ready? Once upon a time, there was a dark, dark moor. And on the moor, there was a dark, dark wood. Does it look dark and scary? No. And in the wood, there was a dark, dark house. And at the front of the house, there was a dark, dark door. Are you scared yet? No. And behind the door, there was a dark, dark hall. And in the hall, there were some dark, dark stairs. No. And up the stairs, there was a dark, dark passage. And across the passage was a dark, dark curtain. And behind the curtain was a dark, dark room. And in the room was a dark, dark cupboard. And in the cupboard was a dark, dark corner. And in the corner was a dark, dark box. And in the box, there was a mouse. <laughs> are, you, are you afraid of mice? No. How come everybody jumped? <laughs> Did I scare you a little bit? No, it was only a little mouse in the box, right? I didn't scare you? Who did I scare? Raise your hand if I scared you. I did? Oh. But not really, because it's only a story, right? Right. Okay, I said that, yes. All right, you're, are you ready for one little finger? Let's see fingers. Twirl them like this. Put it on your nose. Put it on your knee. Oh, you're ready for the song. Ready? One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your eye. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down. Put it on your nose. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your chin. Are you remembering all these places? I already forget. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, point your finger down, put it on your neck. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger, tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up, 
Point your finger down. Put it on your shoulder. One little finger, one little finger, one little finger. Tap, tap, tap. Point your finger up. Point your finger down. Put it on your knee. Put it on your shoulder. Put it on your neck. Put it on your chin. Put it on your nose. Put it on your eye. Good job. You remembered all the places we put it. I was in the hook. You were? I do. We're going to have to say one little hook. One little hook. <laughs> All right, this is another kind of scary story, but not really. The little old lady who was not afraid of anything. And I need your help telling this story. Can you, can you um, give me some help telling this story? No. Yeah. I need help. I need you to be two shoes going clomp, clomp, clomp. Can you do that? Can you be a shirt that goes shake, shake, shake? Can you be a pair of pants that goes wiggle, 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 wiggle? Yes. Go right ahead. Okay. So this is the little old lady who was not afraid of anything. I'm not going to scare you, Charlotte. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. And one windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the forest. She walked so long and so far, it started to get dark. There was an, only a sliver of moon left shining through the night. And the little old lady started to walk home. Suddenly, she stopped. Right in the middle of the park were two big shoes. And the shoes went, help me, clomp, 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 clomp. Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you. And on she walked down the path. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go, clomp. Clomp, clomp. A little farther on, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants. And the pants went wiggle, 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 wiggle. Get out of my way, you silly pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And she walked on. But behind her, she could hear what? Two shoes go clomp, clomp. Clomp, and one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Farther still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt, and the shirt went shake, shake, shake. Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And she walked on a little bit faster, but this time she could hear two shoes go Clomp, clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And one shirt go shake, shake, shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. And the gloves went clap, clap, clap. And the hat went nod, nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and you tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you. And on she walked, just a little bit faster. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake. Shake. Two gloves go clap, clap, clap. And one hat go nod, nod, nod. By now, the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. 
She was very near her cottage when she startled by a very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin head. And the pumpkin head went, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> This time, the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all. She ran, but behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. Clap. One hat go nod, nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo, boo. The little old lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could, and she didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage. She sat in the chair by the fire, and she rocked and rocked and rocked. She sat in her chair by the fire, and she kept rocking and rocking. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock at the door. Should she answer it? No. No? Yes. Well, she wasn't afraid of anything, so she went to the door, and she opened it. What do you think she saw? Yeah. Two shoes go clom. Clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo, boo. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. What do you want anyway? We've come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of us? The pumpkin head suddenly looked very unhappy. What will happen to us? I have an idea, said the little old lady. She whispered into the pumpkin's ear. And the pumpkin head nodded and got very happy. The little old lady said good night, closed the door, and whistled on her way to bed. The next morning, she woke up early. She went to her window, and she looked out into her garden. And what do you think she saw? Two shoes go clomp, clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. One shirt go shake, shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boom. Boop, boop. And it scared all the crows away. Was that scary? No. no. It's a scare, what do you call it? It's kind of a scarecrow with the pumpkin head, right? To scare all the crows? I don't even think he scared the crows away. He's not too scary. All right. What did you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Thumbs up. I like that too. Thumbs up. And now we have a brand, another brand new story called Ghost Cat. Another ghost story. This isn't scary at all. But it's brand new, so you're going to have to tell me whether you like it. There is a ghost in my house. Do you see a ghost there? Anybody see a ghost? That's the cat. See the cat? She's hiding behind the clock of this um, desk, piano. A desk, I don't know. Piano. I've only seen it out of the corner of my eye. But I think it's a cat. Does it look like a cat to you guys? I know because I used to have a cat. There's a dash from the left or a dash from the right. It's always gone before I can really see it. Just a flash. Whew, hiding somewhere nearby. I'm sure he's hiding. You see anything? Can you see it? Oh, there he is hiding. Sometimes I hear it. He scratches. And sometimes I feel it. But mostly, it's a quick 
dark blur here and then not here. Often at night, I feel its weight, its warmth, its pearl. Right look, he's sleeping right on the bed with him. When I look, it's gone. Today I heard it meowing at my bedroom door. I was too slow to catch him. I heard the jangle of a cat toy bouncing down the stairs. But where's the cat? Who made it bounce down the stairs? I don't know. I heard a thud in the den. Look, he knocked a book right off the shelf. That kitty. A crash in the kitchen. Who did it? The ghost cat? He tipped the whole bowl of fruit over. And he's running away again. A splash in the living room. <gasps> what is he going after? He wants the fish. Uh-oh, and he spilled water everywhere. Then finally, I saw it. There he is. And I followed it. Look, he's running after it. To where it sat by the door, staring at me. Purring, just like my cat used to do when it wanted to go out. After a few moments, it turned and leapt right through the door. When I opened it, think he's gone? I found you! Look! There's his kitty! But what's way over here? What's over here? A ghost cat. There is a ghost in our house. Do you see a ghost in the, or do you see a cat? There he is. And it's also his own kitty is there too, right? A real one. Only two. Only two. All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. I like it too. I like ghost cats. All right. We have one more story called Bunny in the Middle. Another one that's brand new. No one has ever heard this story before. All right. You ready for Bunny in the Middle? Which one is the Bunny in the Middle? This one? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so it looks like he has a big brother and a little sister. I don't know, though. We'll see who it is. Okay. When you're in the middle, you're not the oldest, and you're not the youngest. You are right in between. Is anybody right in between? Me, I am. Does anybody have an older brother and a younger brother or a younger sister? Yeah. So you might be right in the middle. Okay. Well, guess what? When you have an older brother or sister, there's someone bigger who helps you. And someone smaller who needs you. So if you have a younger brother or sister, they need you sometimes. When you're in the middle, it's more fun. You know when to hold on, and you know when to let go. And how to st solve sticky situations. And you know when you're in the middle, sometimes you lead, and sometimes you follow. And sometimes you go your own way. Being in the middle isn't always easy. You get hand-me-down everything. And you never get your own room. But that's okay because when you're in the middle you're not too small for the big stuff. And you're not too big for the small stuff. But the best part of middle is, what's the best part of middle? What do you think? 
You are loved all around. And that's the end. Thank <laughs> you.